Hello, I'm Ines from TolerateCinematics.com and today I'll be showing you how to create a nice looking um, tunnel effect in Cinema 4D. So um, previously this week I've uploaded a preview for this tutorial and I said if it has uh, 100 likes I will do a tutorial for it and it did so here is a tutorial on how to create something similar to this. So um, I'm going to show the basic idea behind this um, which is pretty simple to do actually. So um, let's jump into Cinema 4D and see what we can do. So uh, first of all you will have to create a new cylinder um, then we want to rotate it but hold shift while rotating it so it snaps to 90 degrees but only hold shift once you start dragging because else it's, it won't work so now just um, enlarge the height just a bit uh, until you're satisfied if you want to use this one um, once you're done you want to bump up the height segments and I will explain later why you should do that because um, yeah I will explain it later uh, once you're done, just press C on the keyboard or this icon over here, which will make this an edit uh, editable layer, and now we are able to deform it. So um, the height segments are for deforming it. Um, if you don't do the uh, change the height seg height segments, it will only um, rotate uh, rotate to the left or to the right, and now it can all actually deform and make a curve uh, in here. So um, let me show you. Um, pick the bend tool over here and drop the bend in the cylinder. Once you've done that, just rotate it 90 degrees again, and then 90 degrees. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure this should be working fine. I guess. Okay, just bend it now with strength of let's say 50% or whatever you want. It's completely up to you actually. So um, I change the angle to whatever you want. Everything is um, you're able to to change everything. So I uh, over here you can just uh, change these settings if you want a smoother. Uh, curve or something that to appear um, so I'm pretty satisfied with this over here now what I want to do is um, delete the front and end uh, over here so click on the cylinder pick this tool over here and then just click in the center of our cylinder this will select everything over here and then just press the delete key on the keyboard and there we go um, I did the backspace it's the backspace and delete should work uh, as, as well fine um, okay, and behind it. There we go. And I can see the bend is um, a little too much over here, so I'm gonna change these settings just a bit and change the strength. Okay, there we go. And now we have a simple looking tunnel. Um, so now if you duplicate this bend, you can just keep doing this and make other curves if you drop them into, as you can see, you can make other curves, um, change the, the rotation, everything. Just um, mess around a bit with your bent deformer uh, until you come up with something nice. Um, this is just a basic idea behind it. Um, that's why the tutorial is, um, yeah, I'm just showing you how to do it and you should do something creative with it. Okay, so once you've done that, we want to take the Berger um, over here, spline. Um, and now we can just create a nice spline. Just, just click over here, and then click and um, make a nice curve over here, and click out. Okay, so now we have our spline looking uh, right over here. As you can see, if you want, uh, we want to select the, the middle one because it's too much to the left. So we should just animate it until we're uh, happy with the results over here. So this is our spline in our tunnel make sure it's in the tunnel and now we want to create a new camera in that camera we want to click over here on this little square over here so if you click that that will activate the camera and now everything you do over here is in the camera so right click on the camera go to Cinema 4D Tags and Align to Spline and then click on the Align to Spline icon and then just drag the spline in spline pad and what that will do is uh, just if if you change the opacity over here you will just follow the path but as you can see, your camera is not rotating once you get a turn over here. So just click on the icon over uh, again and change the tangential or whatever tangential, anything like that. Just check it on and that'll fix it. So uh, I'm sorry, I don't know how to spell it actually. So um, there we go. This is our simple tunnel looking effect. And now we want to create our rocky walls over here. So um, first of all, I want to create some lights so everything can be seen inside click uh, on this light and make it like just a, a normal Omni and change it to 75% change it to a warm color 
and there we go and now just um, click out of the camera just check it over here so you can just move around over here click on the light move it over here and duplicate the light by holding control pressing C on the keyboard and pressing V so now we have a nice copy and then just position it over here at the end of our tunnel um, so now click back on the camera over here and you want to create a new material so go to create new material double click on the material and now we want to add a nice uh, texture that you can find online um, just load a rocky texture or something like that so I'm gonna use this one or this one and um, doesn't really matter okay and I'm going no just click no and uncheck the specular over here because we don't need that just click a new reflection just a small reflection with a fresnel on it uh, two percent uh, something like that okay now copy this channel from the colors and then go to bump check the bump and click on the arrow paste channel now again click on the arrow and add a filter effect click on the filter and desaturate it to negative 100 click back on the, uh, the, the bump copy this channel again and go to the uh, displacement over here check this on and paste the channel so this will displace our texture and make it look like a real uh, rocky texture actually so click on and just drag it on our cylinder click on this uh, material over here and click on seamless and projection to cubic and there we go so if you wanna animate this uh, click back to the spline hold control pressing on this little uh, empty circle over here and go to the end of our timeline and then just change it to 100% okay there we go and again control click on this yellow circle okay there we go and if we just play this back now we have our tunnel effect so over here I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna render this out so you can see what we're having over here so this is our tunnel and that's pretty much it um, yeah you can just render this out and animate some color corrections in After Effects I also have tutorials for those so I won't be showing this in this tutorial so um okay thanks for watching if you want to render this out go to the render settings output um, change to um, 1280 to 720 and uh, just a normal HD um, frame range all frames go to save click on a QuickTime movie for format and just pick a path where you want to save this so projects and doesn't really matter oh, save it and alpha channel uh, we don't need this or you know we don't uh, okay so analyzing best and that's quite much it so um, that's all for this tutorial I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you um, I helped you out uh, if you have other suggestions for tutorials just may uh, just uh, PM me on YouTube um, check out my other channel for more tutorials and stuff like that. Check out my website at www.toleratedcinematics.com for uh, everything else. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and goodbye.